Uranium is officially in a bull market. You can't say we didn't warn you. This is one of the only industries currently giving significant growth to investors' portfolios. So let's look at the price action year to date on just the Sprott Uranium Miners ETF of 42%. The S&P 500 is up 16%, so massive outperformance, obviously all tied into the news we've been covering over the last year. So let's dive into even more news and figure out more of what is going on and more of what we can expect in the future. Uranium prices hit 12-year high as governments warm to nuclear power. Cost of yellow cake jumps to levels not seen since before 2011. Fukushima disaster. We've been talking about how the fundamentals of the uranium market are way better today than they were before the Fukushima disaster. And so it only makes sense for prices to be higher than when they were before the Fukushima disaster. Now, why are prices rising? Well, again, it all ties back into this chart. We're in a structural supply crunch. This comes from Sprott's Uranium Report, cumulative supply gap. What happens when there isn't enough supply to meet demand? We get rising prices. So that's the supply. This is the demand currently this year. Look at the contracting that's taken place this year. It's like, why are prices as high as they were back in 2011? Because contracting is as high as it was in 2011 or higher, right? So again, I'll tie you back to the fundamentals of the space that the market has been sleeping on previously. And now they're finally waking up to it. Hungary aims to replace Russian fuel with French fuel at its nuclear power plant. So we know uranium in the West is scarcer than it is coming out of the East, Russia, Kazakhstan, right? So nuclear power plants are starting to move towards the scarcer uranium, the more expensive uranium. Ukrainian nuclear reactors get fuel previously produced only in Russia. Same story. So we're seeing a rising demand for Western uranium. At the same time, there's some geopolitical turmoil down in Africa, which is causing an even further supply strain on these Western resources. Uranium processing halted in Niger as France accused of massing troops for military intervention. Niger represents more than 24% of the EU's uranium imports, right? This is how tight the market is, right? One small country goes offline and 24% of the uranium that flows into the EU is out, right? Again, this is a further reason for the catalyst. It just makes the supply crunch more extreme and it shows how sensitive the market is to geopolitical events, which only seem to be picking up in this environment. And so the supply is getting tighter. We covered that in our last video as well. Developments at Camco, lower production, lower production out of Africa. And then we have this from John Quakes, which speaks to the demand side of uranium. Not only is the volume of spot uranium being sought by buyers today nearly double that of the pounds available for sale, but spot uranium rose $12 per pound, 25% in just the first eight months of this year on only 19.2 million pounds of spot market transactions. In 2021, spot rose $12 per pound over the entire year on massive spot volume of 95 million pounds. In 2022, spot rose $6 per pound of 44 million pounds of spot volume. So we're seeing $12 per pound growth on only 19.2 million pounds, which is very tight. So what happens when more and more demand comes into the market, which we will absolutely be covering because more and more of these countries are starting to U-turn into this space. And the ones that aren't are learning painful lessons. Losses of astronomical figures. South Korea rues costs of nuclear phase out policy. They tried to phase it out. It failed just like it's failing all around the world and countries are just coming right back. This week, a Korean parliament MP revealed the staggering cost of this policy blunder. At the time of the moon policy to phase out nuclear, South Korea had 25 functioning nuclear reactors supplying about a third of the country's total electricity. To this People Power Party rep, South Korea racked up a multi-billion dollar loss by delaying nuclear reactor builds and encouraging phase out. Overall, the costs may have run into many hundreds of billions of dollars in U.S. terms, all factors considered. According to the reports, the policy meant South Korea burned a staggering amount of fossil fuels and CO2 that would have otherwise been kept in the ground. And so this is a cautionary tale for all the other countries out there that care about money, 
that care about the environment to not do this. And so that's why we're just going to continue to see exponential growth in this space naturally. Constellation ComEd in landmark energy matching deal. The hourly carbon-free energy matching agreement will see ComEd power all of its offices and metered facilities with locally produced nuclear power in a first for an investor-owned U.S. utility. Constellation earlier this year signed a similar hourly energy matching agreement to power a Microsoft data center. So what happens when the world runs on uranium, right? That is the picture we're trying to paint here because we're in the early stages of that happening. There was so much news this week. It's too much to get into one video. So there's going to be a part two to this week's uranium news, nuclear news coming out tomorrow. We're doing a victory lap today because prices are finally starting to catch up to the fundamentals. All great investors realize that when prices don't align with fundamentals. It's an opportunity. And that's what we've been talking about all along. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for part two. Holding volatile assets in choppy markets requires a touch of insanity. There's a reason that only Jeff Bezos and a handful of other people actually made life-changing returns on Amazon, even though the fundamentals, the growth of the asset were incredible, right? But it goes against human nature to hold on through the thick and the thin and the pain. And so that's why very few people make money investing. That is also why very few people have a six pack because it's not natural to burn the body fat off, to keep the muscle mass. And so I partnered up with the mad chemists over at Insane Labs. They have figured out the body, they've hacked it, highest quality ingredients, absolute, best formulations for just scorching body fat. And I also have a code which I'm gonna share with you guys. Look at the savings of this code, right? This is my order I'm placing right now. It's 9490. What happens when I put in the IL early stage code? Hit apply, it goes straight down to $52. That is what that code does. If you're trying to do this naturally, get that six pack, look shredded naturally, then these supplements help. And so that's what this code is here to do, just to help us save way more than we would if we were buying at a GNC or some other store.